Hey, what's up? N7RBP here. We're going to do a real short video here on uh, just how you uh, integrate your Ham Radio Deluxe logbook with EQSL and HRD log. Uh, basically, what, uh, what we're going to do is uh, uh, simply make a contact on FT8. Uh, and then show you how to set up EQSL and HDR log so that it will automatically log that contact into your Ham Radio Deluxe log and then it will automatically send that contact to EQSL and also to Ham Radio or HRD log, uh, hrdlog.net. Uh, obviously you're going to have to have EQSL set up uh, already with an account uh, with your logon and your password and the same way with hdrlog.net uh, if you want to utilize that log as well um, and with hdrlog.net uh, when you sign up uh, and get a password it will also give you a upload code and this is the code that you will use instead of a password unlike EQSL which is simply your call sign and a, and a password HDR log uh, you, you'll put a uh, upload code into the uh, into the uh, setup configuration so I'll show you all that uh, on the screen here and uh, here we go uh, it'll be quite simple and, and, and fast and it's really nice to have everything automatically logged when you make that uh, uh, contact and uh, uh, make it and it's confirmed boom everything's done everything's uploaded and it's a done deal so here we go so what we're going to do here we're going to uh, show how you integrate EQSL and HRD log with the ham radio deluxe log so that it will automatically so that ham radio deluxe logbook will automatically upload to EQSL and to HRD log so basically all you do is you go into tools right up here at the top menu click on tools and then come down to configure and the first one you're going to want to configure is EQSL you click on that and uh, obviously you need to have a EQSL account set up first and obviously a HRD account HRD log dot net account and uh, then basically you just do this and uh, you type in uh, your logon to EQSL and uh, the uh, nickname if you have a nickname and then the uh, password and click OK and you're set up then the next thing you need to do is go back into tools go into configure and then go into hrdlog.net and you do the same thing there <coughs> when you go into HRD log uh, and set up your account they'll give you a upload code and that's not to be confused with your password put the upload code in here and then hit OK and then it will uh, automatically upload so let's uh, let's do this let's go into and we'll see just what we have coming up here we'll have somebody call in CQ here in just a second there we go that's a 17 that's that might be a hard one to get I'll uh, for the purposes of the demonstration we'll try one with a uh, stronger signal this one has a minus 17 and it's probably not going to be easy to get here's one we'll click on K8SIA so over here K8SIA and we'll be talking right up here to this guy right here and we'll see if we can make a contact with him 
So we are receiving and in a second we'll be transmitting. Okay, there we go. We got him. Shows up in red. N7RBP to K8SIA. And we will make a contact here. November 8, Sierra India Alpha. Okay, there we go. So now you see here that uh, the confirmation has click has uh, popped up. It shows uh, mode uh, shows the call sign here, the mode, the band, uh, the signal reports, and the grid square. And my uh, transmit power, 30 watts, shows a comment. Uh, Thanks for the QSO 73s, and we will click on OK, and it will automatically log. Kilo 8 SIA into EQSL and HRD log. So we'll go OK. And in a second, you'll see it pops up there. Confirm, success, it's logged. So now if we go to our logbook, you will see that K8 SIA right here has been added to my logbook. And it shows EQSL has been sent. So just that easy. And then if you go into... Uh, Let's see here. If you go into here and hdrlog.net and logbook, it'll show K8 SIA has been logged in there as well. So it's just uh, basically that simple. Um, one thing that I am using that some people aren't aware of and aren't using is JT Alert. And uh, that is part of my, uh, oh, another neat thing that that is that shows about JT Alert. It shows how many uh, uh, QSOs are going on per band. So you know which bands are most active there. And it also has a uh, uh, sound. You can turn the sound off and the light, nice lady will tell you CQ, CQ, or uh, the station is calling you, uh, whatever, and it's, uh, it's kind of nice. Sometimes it gets irritating, but uh, as you can see, uh, it shows the, uh, the call signs as well, and it shows a B4 if there's a, a contact that has made, that you've made before, it shows a B, Baker, and then a 4, so B4. And there it is, right there. That's VE6CV at B4. That means that I've contacted him, made a, made a confirmed contact uh, before with him. So JTS, or uh, JT Alert, it's uh, recommended. It's a, it's a good program to work along with uh, WSJTX. So that's it, basically, for uh, uh, adding just... Uh, a simple project add EQSL and HRD log and as soon as uh, the contact is made and you uh, it's automatically logged into both of those and you don't have to manually log them there you go hope this helps out okay so one thing that I forgot to mention a uh, very critical piece of information here I recommended that you download and install WS or uh, JT Alert. Well, to make this all happen, JT Alert. That's that's what it's all about. JT Alert is the uh, the prime component in this automatic logging. So, uh, what you're going to have to do is download JT Alert, and uh, then go into the settings menu right here of JT Alert, and go into Manage Settings. Okay, then down at the uh, menu here where it says logging, right here, logging, open that up, and then go down to uh, uh, Ham Radio Deluxe version 5, version 6, and click on that. Okay, then set it up just like I have it here, and uh, you'll, be, uh, you'll be ready to go. So <laughs> this whole thing 
is predicated on JT Alert being installed on your computer and running on your computer. So it's not just recommended that you put it on. In order for this to all work in unison, it's a, it's a mandatory install if you want it to work this way. So that uh, is something that I forgot. There we go.